Welcome to Crocodile MTG, your home of competitive, constructed play in all Magic the Gathering formats. Today's video was brought to you by all our wonderful sponsors, affiliates, and patrons. Thank you all for supporting the Crocodile MTG channel, and we hope you enjoy today's video. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jordan with Crocodile MTG here bringing you another Magic the Gathering video. Uh, today we're in match number three. We're currently uh, two and O oh in a league with Bant Spirits. Uh, I did mulligan down the six. Uh, we are on the play. I mean, we were on the draw. Uh, and hopefully here, it looks like we're against Lotus Breach. All right, so Kozilek's return, Bone Crusher Giant, Uro go to the graveyard. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play this. I'm gonna go ahead and play the island here. The question is, what do we want to do? Part of me kind of likes playing the uh, the Supreme Phantom here and getting in for three. But I'm not really sure what our opponent is playing here. Yeah, I think I like getting in for three here. I feel like my uh, opponent's in a, a combo deck, and I, I want to be aggressive. All right, is this an Uro? It's not. It's a Champion of Wits? What is our opponent playing? There's another Kozlik's return. I wonder if they're going to um, evoke something here. So that is something that we're going to have to be a little concerned about. I think I like holding up just Rattle Chains and Spell Queller. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get in for a three here. And we'll see what our opponent plays. If our opponent does evoke something, uh, we're going to have to... I don't even know if we can spell Queller. I don't think we can spell Queller Kozilek's Return's ability, which is pretty unfortunate. I'm gonna have to look up the uh, Evoke. I know there's the or, I'm sorry, it's not Evoke, it's uh, Emerge. So they have two blue here. So the most likely Emerge uh, is Elder Deep Fiend, which is five blue blue. So that's seven total. So yeah, they can Emerge it here out of Champion of Wits. I think I'm going to go ahead and play the Nimble Gast Herald here. See, I don't even think Kozilek's Return Ability allows... I'm definitely a little concerned here. Yeah, here's an Emerge of Elder Deep Fiend, but they didn't tap blue. Okay, blue. I don't think this works. Yep, there's Elder Deep Fiends. Yeah, I, I couldn't even do anything there. I guess we use our mana while we can. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how we get out of this one. Uh, with two Kozilek's returns in the graveyard, it's definitely going to be a little bit of a difficult situation here. If they have an extra emerge target... Let's see here. Alright, they have Nyssa. Do they attack with both? They do. Okay. 
So I guess the only way we're really going to get back into this is depending on what we get hit off Collect a Company. Alright, so an Uro, an Ugin, a Stomping Grounds going to the grave. So it looks like basic forest for our opponent. And this is pretty aggressive. I mean, even if we kill the Nissa here, I think our opponent just has too much damage to deal with. And the question is, do I even want to collect a company now? Because if I collect a company now, um, I think the only way we survive this attack next turn is if we hit like a Nimble Gast Herald. So I think we're just gonna have to see what our opponent ends up playing here. And they, they have to not have another Emerge creature from their deck. All right, what is this? Eight? Is it just Ugin? Oh, it's an Emrakul. Alright, I'm going to go ahead here and collect a company. I'm not really sure if we have a way out of this. We'll have to see what we hit. Alright, we didn't hit... Yeah, so they can run... So if we Empyrean Eagle, Empyrean Eagle, they can run one into Emrakul. And then we get an extra turn. Well, actually, this doesn't even matter. I guess let's go ahead and Empyrean Eagle and Empyrean Eagle. Because we can at least block now, um, so they don't have lethal. Now, do I double block this? No, because I want to... I want to go ahead and take five because they're going to run one into Emrakul here. And I have to tr try and survive through this Emrakul. We're at four, they're at eight. So yeah, we have no control over this turn. So they're probably going to just attack. Yeah, attack one in the Emrakul. I think the only way we can get through this is if we if we draw a collect a company. Flying trample protection from instance. All right, that's gonna be the game. Unfortunately, this was a neat deck. This actually looked pretty good. Um, let's see here. What do we want? I kind of like Rest in Peace, so we don't get Kozilek's returned. Uh, I also don't mind Deccan Stone, I think. Well, they're playing things like... Maybe I want the Mystical Disputes, because they're playing things like Uro, but they're also playing things like... Uh, like the Emerge creature. Which is actually kind of interesting, because you can Uro and then Emerge out of Uro on the Sack Trigger, if they have enough mana. Ooh, Disdainful Stroke's going to be good here. So Disdainful Stroke, Rest in Peace are the cards I'm looking at so far. I think I'm going to cut a Sailor here. I'm not sure if we stand a huge chance against this deck. Alright, I'm going to cut some Eagles here in the Sailors. I like Disdainful Stroke, Rest in Peace... With the Rest in Peace plan, I don't know if we need the Mystical Disputes. And 
And they don't seem to have a lot of removal, so I, I could bring in the Deccan Stones over the Rattle Chains. I could see doing that. Extend a Brazen Borrower, bring in the Mystical Disputes. Maybe trim a Mausoleum Wanderer. Mausoleum Wanderer is one of our fast starts, though. Maybe it's trim a Selfless Spirit. Is this, are these too many spells and not enough threats? No, I, th I think we're okay, because I think we want to try and go and get under them uh, while being on the play. All right, this hand looks keepable. We have the Selfless Spirit on two, and then if we draw land, we have the uh, Heralds here. Plus, we have Disdainful Stroke and Deckenstown. We don't have a uh, rest in peace, but hopefully we draw one. All right, there's another land. So we'll go ahead here and play the selfless spirit. Right, there's a Seder Wayfinder. There's a Kozilex Return. Ooh, they brought in Shifting Ceratops. Alright, there's a collect a company. can't emerge next turn, but we can collect a company. Alright, let's hope this is good enough for the win. I can't imagine they don't have something here. Alright, Champion of Wits. Alright, Steam Vents, Forest Down. Ooh, that was really bad. That's really unfortunate. We do at least have uh, the Selfless Spirit, which does protect from the Kozilek's return. So we're not completely out of this one. All right, I think that's fine. I actually think we can win off the back of this. So they put a stomping ground into play. Two Kozilek's returns in Grave, okay. The reason I didn't just Disdainful Stroke the Cavalier here is because I want to save the disdain, uh, Disdainful Stroke for uh, their Emerge creature or even an Emrakul. Uh, I want to be able to Herald here, I believe, um, and just tap down the uh, Cavalier. And then if we draw something like a Lord off the top, I think we just win. Okay, and our opponent just concedes there. All right, so we got the game there. Um, so a couple things we do have to com be concerned about is they brought in Cavalier. Uh, they also had Shifting Ceratop, which cannot be... Uh, has protection from blue, and it can't be countered. It can be exiled with Spell Queller still, but it can't be countered typically. I kind of like bringing in the Selfless Spirit again because I realized, you know, with Kozilek's Return, that is actually pretty decent. Numblegast is a blue card, so we're not going to be able to target it with 
shifting ceratops or against shifting ceratops. See, the awkward part is like deputy of detention and stuff too is also, I guess we can deck in stone the shifting ceratops. Question is, do I want uh, Avis in here as another way to give indestructible? They also trimmed on their blue cards, so I think I'm fine with trimming Mystical Disputes. I'm gonna bring this Supreme Phantom back in, uh, and I think I'm gonna bring in an Imperial Eagle as well. Empyrean Eagle. I also want to bring in a Brazen Barber. I think a, I think a borrower seems okay. All right, let's go ahead to the uh, game three here. All right, there's an Avacyn, a Disdainful Stroke, and a Spell Queller. I think this is keepable because I think we're playing a longer game in this matchup. Uh, it's just, it's a little awkward here. All right, so our opponent's fetching right away because I don't believe they uh, care since we know what they're playing. All right, and this is actually okay here, I believe. It's not an aggressive start that they're gonna have to cause Lex return, but it's it's pretty decent. All right, there's Ugin, Seder, and Bone Crusher. They have a mountain in hand. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and play a tap land here. And we have five mana, so this is actually pretty good for us. We do have to be wary of a. Uh, Emrakul, though, since we're going later in the game. All right, there's a Uro. Typically, I would recommend getting under an opponent like this, especially since they're playing an aggro deck, but if you, if you don't have the right lineup, we just kind of have to play it as we can. All right, there's a Supreme Phantom. I think we just hold that for now. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to spell queller this, and we'll see if they have a removal spell. Destroy target blue. Destroy target non-creature permanent. Okay, so our opponent definitely uh, messed that up there. I'm going to go ahead and get in for two here. All right, so no Kozilex return at the moment, which is good. All right, there's another Champion of Wits. I think I respawned here with Collect a Company. And I think we tried to hit another Spell Queller, which we didn't. All right, I'm gonna take a Nimblegast Herald, and I meant to take the other Nimblegast Herald, but unfortunately I uh, I messed that up. All right, we'll see what our opponent has now. They could have another Kozilex return, but we have the uh, Avacyn. Okay, cool. All right, now the question is, do they have a Kozilek's return in hand? That is something we have to be aware of, or wary of. All right, there's a Sylvan Karyatid. They only have one card in hand. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say yes to that. The other nice thing about um, grabbing Rattle Chains there, even though I accidentally grabbed it, was the fact that I can uh, just flash in now, like Supreme Phantom. Uh... 
I think this Avacyn's actually going to be pretty good in, in this matchup with where we're at. All right, we'll see what they have here. All right, they want to tap for permanents. All right, that's fine. Oh, they just had a land? All right, what do they have now? Oh, they can uh, bring back Uro. Okay, that's fine. So now I have the pump effect and a disdainful stroke. None of these have a uh, flash, so I mean, okay. Did they just give up? Why would they attack? Right, I'm actually gonna pay two here. Oops. All right, that was actually a really great top deck. I think this is actually gonna win us the match here. Yeah, we attack for exactly 16. And that's the game. We came, we somehow came back and won that match. That was an insane game. I'm actually pretty impressed. Thank you all so much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you in the next match. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like and subscribe button. Also, check out the description below for more Magic the Gathering content. This was Jordan with Crocodile MTG, and we will see you next time.